Should I try and explain this again for the dumbasses who still haven't figured it out? Sure, why not? What we're looking at isn't a U.S. problem. It's a world problem. And the power structure that runs it all. Like I've said a whole bunch of times, what they do, you would never do. And because of that, it's kind of baked into the cake that you refuse to believe that your favorite star or personality or politician would be capable of doing some of the things that they have done. That's why they call us sheep. Because we apply our belief system to their actions, allowing them to get away with horrible things, what it amounts to. We have to remember and always take into consideration the one thing they don't want is for you to understand what it is they've been up to or have an idea of how their power truly works. But what about this person? What about that person? This person says this or that person says that. Forget about that shit. The only thing you have to do is watch how the machine reacts to whatever comes up along the way. As an example, everybody's talking about the weather nowadays. Not that it ain't worth talking about and the origins that drive it, which by the way, if you want to look into that, there's a thing called Operation Popeye that went on in Vietnam and weather control and modification has been a documented fact for decades. But they don't want you to know that. Wonder why. And you can take that thinking one step further when you look at how the machine reacts when certain things are introduced. If you poke someone in the right spot, do you not get a reaction? That's a great way to determine what the hell is going on. I never asked to experience the things that I experienced when I was a kid. As a matter of fact, no one ever would or should. I didn't ask to run across some of the people that I ran across when I was in the military. But I did. And I keep running across these assholes throughout my entire life. I know how they roll. Because I've met them before. I've worked with them before. And unfortunately, I've worked for them before. But that's my cross to bear. And one day... I may just have to answer for it. That's why the setting for this video is actually perfect. I came from the darkness. I spent my whole life, for the most part, negotiating in the darkness. And managed to survive it. And come out of the other side with a perspective of, man, it ain't got to be like that. Just because it happened to me doesn't make it okay or acceptable for me to do it to others. A lesson some people desperately don't want to learn and desperately don't want you finding out about it. So for some of you, no, I'm not going to participate in your live streams. I'm not going to encourage you to continue to go down the wrong path and mislead others as you do so. 
That ain't my bag. I ain't about that shit. Why? Because in the end, I don't want anybody to get hurt because of my actions. And in my estimation, some of you are leading the people who look to you for information or what have you down the wrong path that could potentially get them hurt or worse. The reality of the times that we're living in today you're supposed to be learning something. You're supposed to be reevaluating whatever position you might have taken based on the way that the machine reacts to what can only be called outside st stimuli. And understand where it comes from, what they're so scared of. I've said it a whole bunch of times. The ball in this game is justice, and that ball is the last thing they want you looking at or to be able to get your hands on, because what they do, you would never do. And when it comes down to it, like someone posted a couple years back now, those who make the most noise or cry the loudest have the most to lose. As some of you still insist that it's the same old game, when it's fairly obvious all that changed in 2016. So does that make you a dumbass? Not necessarily, but it does speak to some of y'all's lack of flexibility and unableness to apply a different standard to what you have been looking at, other than the standards that have been supplied by them in order for you to look at things a certain way. If you're truly going to understand this game and how it's played, you gotta come at it from a different angle from a perspective that no one else is coming at it from so that you can see it from all sides, their side, our side, the side that they don't want us to see and so forth and so on. And if you're not willing to do that, your chances of survival should the worst case scenario come around, go down that much more. Because that's exactly what you have to do when shit's in the wind. And if you're not, you're a danger to yourself and those around you.